Hi, this is Natsuhana Travel Channel. Today we would like to take you to one of the most beautiful temples in Kyoto, Tenryuji. It is located in Arashiyama in Kyoto, where it now became popular for tourists, but a tranquil place where you can feel the beauty of Japan. Tenryuji is one of the first Zen temples among the five great Zen temples in Kyoto, and now has been listed as UNESCO World Heritage Place. So, let's get going! The main entrance is far from the front gate, but there are many things to look around along the way. This is the huge lotus garden on the right. Look at this beautiful lotus garden. Isn't it so beautiful? Um, the lotus flowers only from July to September, and it only blooms in the morning and closes during the afternoon. So beautiful. Yuji Temple was considered first Zen temple among the five great Zen temples in Kyoto. 9th century, Empress Tachibana no Kachiko founded the temple Danrinji, Japan's first Zen temple on the present site of Tenryuji. It was established in 1339 by Shogun Ashikaga Takauji, the first shogun of Muromachi period. The temple garden was established in the memory of Emperor Godaigo from the temple's first abbot Nuso Soseki, one of the most important priests in the early history of Japanese Zen Buddhism. It has been destroyed by fire a total of eight times, most recently in 1864, but it has been renovated completely as original and has been registered as World Heritage Site in 1994 as one of the oldest and most beautiful gardens in Japan. Welcome to Tenryuji. Tenryuji is listed in one of the World Heritage Sites. And look at this beautiful garden. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh, this garden was actually burned down eight times. But then it, was, it has been renovated as the original. And it is still known as one of the oldest gardens in Japan. This garden is called the Sogenchi Garden and is one of the highlights of Tenryuji Temple. It has been designated as Japan's first historic site that has a glimpse of Muso Kokushi Garden, a garden laid out by Zen master Muso Soseki in the 14th century. The name Sogenchi came from the expression of Sogen Itteki, referring to the living truth of Zen, that like a steady of water, has continued through the centuries to the present day. A strolling pond garden allows guests to appreciate the scenery from a variety of perspectives.
This Unruz Hall remained safe through all the fires that destroyed most of Tenruji Temple. The highlight of this hall is Unruz, sitting with a huge dragon in a circle with a diameter of 9 meters. The painting we may see now is re-established painting as the original was on the Japanese washi paper and was degraded. Cameras were not allowed in this hall. Though the painting was very dynamic, covering the whole ceiling with clay-based ring. The dragon in Hapo Nirami style appears to look directly at the observer regardless where which direction you are viewing from. The hall is not usually open to the public and be seen at the special occasions and releases. So if you are lucky to go, you should definitely visit here. The history tells us that the temple itself became uh, one tenth of its actual size, but still the temple was very, uh, very big, and the garden was very beautiful. Uh, you can walk around the garden and, or sit relax in the temple and have a very good time. There are many things to look in the temple. I really do recommend when you come to Kyoto to visit here at Tenryuji Temple. watching our video and don't forget to hit thumbs up thank you and see